Hello everyone, welcome back again to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you go about upgrading this fine PC here. It's a Dell Optiplex 3070 small form factor PC. Just in case you have a kind of PC, this video will show you how exactly you go about installing an NVMe SSD on this PC. You know, upgrading your RAM sticks, perhaps if you have 8 gigabytes and you feel like 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM is what you want to you know, want to rock with, this video will show you exactly how. And if you say to yourself, you know, I don't want to have, you know, LAN cables on my PC because I just want to have a wireless LAN, you know, PCI adapter on my PC, this video will also show you exactly how you can do that. I'm not going to waste your time. I'm just going to go straight to the point. First thing you want to do is to open your Dell Optiplex PC just by turning the screws right here. The beautiful thing is that these screws will not fall off, so don't be scared that it may fall off. And as soon as you get into the PC, Unfortunately, there's just no way you can get into this PC by not removing, you know, the front blend here. So what you have to do is to carefully, you know, lift up the clips just like that and then push it out. You have to be super careful here because I just cannot tell you how many times I have broken the clips of the front blend of this kind of PC. When you got that out, the next thing you want to do is to take out the HDD card right here. There's just a clip and it's also indicated the lock sign means that it's locked and you want to open it, you push it to the other side and then you can go ahead and raise this out. Let's say you want to install a SATA SSD on your PC. It is exactly where you will do it or you want to even add a HDD drive on your PC. This is exactly what you'll be needing. But in this case, we have an NVMe SSD right here. Have a super good SSD. I'm just going to bust it open and then get hold of my SSD. In this case, I can go ahead to do the job I have to do right here today. Looking at the main board, you can easily see the M.2 slot right there is just here. So what I have to do, beautiful thing is that there is a screw right here and I have to actually take that out. In the event that you do not have this screw, it should also be very difficult for you to find a screw that would actually go in there. So using my screwdriver, I'm going to go ahead and unlock the screw. And thereafter, take my NVMe SSD and just slot it in. There is a notch right here and just make sure that the notch is aligning to the, M dot, to the notch on the M.2 slot. And if you can get that into place, sorry, it fell off my hand. Yes, this is expected, but I'm going to give it another try. Exactly what I wanted. All right. As soon as it goes in, give it a gentle push and then you can go back and screw in you know, the SSD onto the main board using this small screw that was actually there. It's a little bit difficult, but the only hack I would have for you guys is if you have a screwdriver that has a magnetic tip, this would actually be the best way to go, but I do not have that. So I have to actually struggle a little bit until I can actually, you know, get the screw in place. Sometimes in the past, I've actually used my hand before, but right now I think it's already in. All right, now the SSD has been screwed in and it's gonna look exactly something like that. It's not difficult, but if you are not careful, you are kind of in a hurry, you might end up messing things around here. But if you take it slowly, shouldn't be a problem. So the next thing I have to do now is to go ahead and unplug the RAM stick that is on my PC, just like that. I'm gonna take it out. That's a four gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. I'm gonna take the first you know, RAM module, that's eight gigabytes. I'm gonna push it down going to hear the two clips that tells me that yes the ram sticks are already in place i'm going to take the other ram stick and then go ahead and push it in place so in this way i already have my ssd installed as well as my ram stick but that's not enough i did promise you guys to show you exactly how you will install you know a wireless LAN card on your pc so i'm going to go ahead now and open this up right here because my wireless LAN card is going to definitely come onto the PCI slot right there, the black one, because there are two. If you have a graphic card, say something like this, then that's gonna go onto this PCIe slot right here. But because I have this small, I'm gonna show you, this is exactly how it looks. So first take that out. Don't worry, I'm gonna be leaving a link to all these products in the description. If you decide to, you don't wanna go the way of buying one of these definitely you should be able to find this on the link in the description below see the beautiful thing is that this wireless LAN adapter can actually be used for a tower pc in this case you have this bracket 
like a full profile bracket. But if you have a small form factor PC like this, then you may have to exchange this full profile bracket for this one right here, which I'm just gonna quickly do. So to do that, I'm just gonna unscrew these two screws right here. So I'm gonna take out the full profile bracket and then bring in the small form factor, you know, brackets onto the uh, wireless LAN card. Just like that. Okay. Okay, so if you've done that, it should be exactly, you know, something like this. So I'm going to go ahead now and put in, you know, the wireless LAN card on the PCI slot. But the problem is on this PC, this bracket here is still blocked onto the chassis of the PC. So what I have to do is to carefully break it up. You have to just, you know, keep twisting it around and then you have it right there. Okay, thereafter my, you know, wireless LAN card comes into place. Once again, have to be gentle. Whenever you have to do anything like upgrades on PC, you know, you have to push stuff down the main board. Always be careful that you do not break anything. All right. So now that that is there, I have to go ahead and start to, you know, couple my PC back into place. So the HD card comes there, make sure it's closed. And then just to make sure that the cables are well managed, I have to make sure this cable goes in there because this is exactly where the cable is supposed to be in the first place, all right? So that stays there. And then the front blend of this PC, you know, comes back to its place. All right. And then you can then go ahead and cover, you know, the PC just like that, exactly the same way you had opened it in the first place. Just ensure that the screws, you know, are screwing back into where they should be, just like that. There's just no way you can miss that because everything is pretty much, you know, done for you. If you have done that, then you have succeeded in upgrading your Dell OP Plus 3070 small form factor PC. If this video helps you, do me a favor, go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe to the channel until I see you again in the next one. Peace.